Hold R. Go. All right. Okay. So welcome to Tech Vision. I'm Nate Kyle, and today we are going to work in Excel on labeling column and row headers. So let me go ahead and get over to this Excel spreadsheet. Column and row tester, XLSX Excel to move to an item, press the arrow keys. Please wait, please wait. Column and row tester, XLSX, column and row tester, XLSX, Excel, sheet one, land, A1. Okay, so what we have here is two regions or actually two charts inside of one spreadsheet. And so the goal is to actually give each chart individual names for the rows and the column headers. Um, JAWS has a built-in feature where you can do this, but what happens is that it labels the column and the rows for the entire spreadsheet. But Excel has its own built-in feature to do this. And what's nice about the Excel built-in feature is that it can actually stay within the spreadsheet. So if the spreadsheet is shared, emailed to another user of assistive technology using JAWS, they will already be able to read the column and row headers as they navigate through the different cells in the sheet. So, Emmy, you haven't looked at this sheet, at least recently. I don't know if you've looked at this one at all, but we want to find the first region. We're in cell A1 and to jump down past any blank cells to the next cell with data, we can use a control down arrow. Number of items sold, A4, start of new data region. Okay, so we know that this has to do with uh, kind of an inventory number of items sold. And I know that there's some blank cells under this and we wanna jump past those again without arrowing down, down, down. So just do a control down arrow. Footballs, A8, edge of current data region. Okay, and it said edge of current data region, and it gives us the item footballs. And so right now we're actually at what we call the intersection, meaning to the right in this row, we would start seeing the headers for each column. And then if we were to arrow down, we would see the headers for each row. So let's just arrow right two times so we can get a sense of that. 20, B8, 10, C8. Okay. And go ahead and I don't think we're at the top though. Of the go ahead and arrow up one. Seventeen C seven. Ah, do a control up arrow and see where that takes us. Tuesday, C4, edge of current data region. Okay, there we are. So we're actually the the top row going from left to right across the columns has the days. So kind of just arrow if you were to arrow right, it'd probably take you all the way, I don't know, to what Saturday or Sunday. Tuesday, before, go ahead and see where Saturday, that gets Sunday, eight, four. Okay, Next, so it's I a four. whole week. And if you want to jump back to the beginning, try your control left arrow. Sunday, H4, start of new data region. Try, okay. So did that take you Number back to eight? Oh, sorry. I did it twice. The first one, I was in a blank cell on the outside of the data region. So when I did it once, it brought me back in there. And then when I did it twice, it jumped to the other side of it, which is column A. Yep. No worries. And so let's go down now and see what we have under this for the row headings. Land, A, number of items sold, A4, tennis rackets, A5, soccer balls, A6, swimsuits, A7, footballs, A8, Okay. Land, A9. So then what we have here is we're going to have the football, soccer balls, and everything, the, the number sold for each of those days. Let's just arrow up to say footballs. Footballs, A8. Okay. And if we were to arrow right, we're going to hear the number that was sold on that day. So arrow right. 20, B8. Okay, so this is an easy spreadsheet. So we know that 20 were sold on Monday and then we could we could kind of guess that. But sometimes it's it's much more complex and in-depth depending on the, the headings of the individual columns. But we wanna, we wanna look at how a user would know when they arrow right through each of these numbers, which day they were on which amount of those unit items, in this case, the footballs were sold on that day. So we wanna do two things. I mean, we wanna find out what the, the bottom right edge is of this region. We wanna find out what cell that is. So let's, let's do a control left arrow to get to the, the far left, uh, which is gonna be column A. Edge of current data region. And it told us the edge. So arrow down one time, there shouldn't be anything there. Land A9. Okay, so we know that A8 is the bottom left edge. Arrow back up to your A8. 
Footballs, A8. And so we want to see what the far most right cell is with data. That's going to be the far right corner of this region. Do a control right arrow. 11, H8, edge of current data region. So H8, that's the, the end of this region that we want to remember, H8. You take note of that, Charlie Brown. Okay, we want to get back up to the beginning top left corner of this region. So Emma, you can do a control left arrow and get back to a8. Footballs, A8, edge of current data region. And then we want to get back up to the top far left corner of this region, do a control up arrow. Number of items sold, A4, edge of current data region. Okay, so I believe we are in that intersection. Arrow right and see if we have Monday. Monday, B4. Yep, so let's go back to Number our left. Sold, A4. And so this is where we are going to do this set of keystrokes where we create a title that allows JAWS to read the, the headers for both the rows and the columns. So we want to get into the, the name um, where we can name this region, name this cell. And the keystroke we're going to use is Control F3. Go ahead and press that. Control F3, name manager, name manager dialog, new button to activate, press space bar, Alt N. And so there's choices here. It's already on the new, and there's also edit, and then there's delete. But we want this new right here. So press enter on that. Enter, new name, new name dialog, name edit, type of text, all in. Okay, and we are going to name this title one. So no spaces in any of this, Emmy. So let's start title one, and then I'll tell you what else to put. T-I-T-L-E, -E. one. And then you're going to do two periods, so dot, dot. Title one, period, period. And those periods separate that title from the last cell in this region, which was H8. So go ahead and put that there. H8. Okay, and press enter to complete that part of it. H8, enter, name manager, list view, title one. H8, number of items sold equals sheet one. And then. Four dollars workbook, one to one. To move the items, use the arrow keys. You're going to tab, tab twice to close. Reverse to edit, type in text, hold up, close button to activate, press space bar. Okay, space. Space, column and row tester, XLSX, number of items sold, A4. And now this, for some people, or most people, if they don't have a certain setting on, this is not going to work. Let's just arrow down into the, the first item. Tennis rackets, A5. And so if she arrows right, it should say the number of tennis rackets sold and should say Monday, but we may have to turn on a, a specific setting arrow right one time. Monday, 35, B5. Okay, so you're, you're setting, we probably already set it up another time, but I want to go and let people know what they have to change because if this setting is not changed in JAWS, this will not work. And so we're actually going to go to the JAWS quick setting, which is insert V for Victor. So let's go ahead and press that. 35, quick settings, Excel, classic dialog, search box, edit, type in text, control plus E. And we're going to start typing the word define. So just D-E-F. D-E-F. Def, define name, column, and row titles, override, one of two search results. Okay, and we're going to go, it says one of two results. We're already in the right result category right here. And if to, there's another panel in here, this panel has the results and the second panel actually has the options for each result. So we want to go into the options by pressing F6. F6, define name, so column, and row title, to... override combo box, off, one of three. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. And that's what we want. We want override off. This is not usually set by default, so you have to change this in order for this feature to be able to work. Go ahead and escape out of here, Emmy. Escape, column and row tester, XLSX 35B5. Okay, so now let's go ahead and, and get back in our A column and arrow down to footballs. Number of items sold, tennis rackets, A5. Soccer balls, A6. Swimsuits, A7. Where are we going? The footballs. Footballs, A8. And so now when we arrow right, we're not just going to hear the number of footballs sold, but we're also going to hear the day in which that number were sold on. So arrow right. Monday, 20, D8. Tuesday, 10, C8. So we Wednesday, know. 15, D8. 
Thursday, 14 E8, Friday, 16 F8, Saturday, 15 G8, Sunday, 11 H8. Okay, and so let's do something else. What day are we on? Are we on Sunday? Yes. So if we wanted an okay footballs, this is how many units were sold that day. Let's go ahead and arrow up. Swimsuits, 15 H7. And soccer so we ball. also know swimsuits, soccer. So, so we're getting that information for the header of this row as well as the heading of the column. And just for laughs, Emmy, let's go ahead and go down to the bottom of this column. To, yeah, let's go right, right under. Okay, eight, four, edge of current data region. Oh, I think I did something wrong. Hold on. Right. Sheet one, number of items sold. Sunday, eight, four. Where am I supposed to be? So get down to, go ahead and do a control down arrow to get to the edge of this region. H4. 74, H4. 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 edge of current data region. Oh, I think we went to the other region. Oh, okay. So there's, there's a formula here, actually. And that's what I was going to have. Let's put, go ahead and arrow up once. Footballs, 11, H8. So footballs, what was it? 11 were sold on Sunday. Go ahead and down arrow and hit delete on that formula. 74 at formula H9. Delete? Yeah, just delete that. H9. Because I want to show people how to do a quick formula. Some people may have not seen this before. So right now we're in the bottom of this column of Sunday that has all of the items sold for the different categories, tennis rackets, swimsuits, footballs. And if we wanted to just do a quick formula, go ahead and do your alt equals. Alt equals. Mm-hmm. Type of the range to sum using colon to separate or press enter to accept the fold range. H5 colon H8, H5, H8. And then press enter. I do like that range. Enter, land H10, land H10. And then arrow back up. 74, add formula H9. And so that automatically summed every item in that column for the day of Sunday. So that's a, a quick way that your students can, can get in or do that summing process. All right, so we're just going to go through it one more time. And Emmy, maybe you can show me exactly what you did. What do you think on the next region? Possibly. Okay, so let's get back over to our A column. 73, at formula B9, edge of current data region. Land A9, edge of current data region, land A9. Okay, and we're going to use our control down arrow to move past, sweep past any blank cells. Olympic medals by type by country, A11, start of new data region. Okay, so arrow right and see if we're at that intersection. Land B11, land B11. Okay, so we're not at the intersection. So let's go ahead and get back over to that, co that uh, by country, metal by country. Olympic medals by type by country, A11. And let's go down from here. Land A12. Land A12. Country A13. All right. So let's arrow to the right and see if you're at the intersection of these columns and rows. Bronze B13. Silver C13. Gold D13. Land E13. Land E13. Yep. I, I think these are the... Yep. Which the ones we want to be the headers. Yep, they are. And let's let's get back over to that one. Let's get over all the way back to our A column. So let's do a control oh, F over there. Of data region. Rock, and A let's go go all the way down to the edge of this region on our left with control down arrow. New Zealand, A forty seven, edge of current data region. Well. Okay, so New Zealand is the last it's these are countries, but remember we need that address of that last cell in the right corner of the region. So do your control right arrow. 16, D47, edge of current data region. D47. D47, so get to your intersection and see if you can show me some magic and I'm here to help you. New Zealand, A47, edge country, A13, edge of current data region. Control F3. Rock country, A13. Control F3, name manager, list view, title one. H8 number of items sold equals sheet one. Dollar A4, dollars workbook, one to one. To move the items, use the arrow keys. Okay, so I didn't, here, here's a step that I didn't tell you. So to pop up that new, it's alt N. Alt N? For new, yep, to give you a new area to name this region. Alt N, new name, new name dialog, name edit, type in text, alt N. 
T I T L E. Two. Title two. Period. Period. D. Four. Seven. D forty seven. Enter name manager. List view. Title two. D forty seven. Country equals sheet one. Dollar A thirteen dollars workbook. Refers to close button to active enter. Column and row tester. XLSX. Country A thirteen. United States A fourteen. Bronze. Ten sixteen. Silver. Seven hundred nine. Chief gold. Eight hundred twenty four. D fourteen. Soviet Union, 376, D Germany, 377, D Great Britain, 258, D France, 239, D8 Italy, 189, D Sweden, 193, D20. Awesome. Silver, awesome. C20. Beautiful. All right. Well, thank you. So this is the end of our lesson on labeling the header headings or headers for rows and column titles. This is your tech vision. I hope you tune in for more of our videos. Task switching, task switching, meeting controls to move to an item, press the arrow keys, stop, share, all test button to activate, press space, mute, currently unmuted, all day button to activate.